Today, we're taking a very special look at heists in Cyberpunk 2077. Check this out right here. We'll be able to infiltrate this amazing mansion in the game, as confirmed by CD Projekt Red. What waits for us inside? We're gonna be talking about that, plus the home security systems in some of these bigger places are going to be no joke. So we're gonna be talking about a bunch of really cool stuff today about heist and home security and security systems to expect in this game. So welcome back everyone. Open World Games here, hope you all are doing good. And we are going to dive straight into this right now. Now remember, I'm doing an epic giveaway for a chance to win a copy of Cyberpunk 2077 on a console or platform of your choice. See the description below for full details. But yeah, uh, let's dive into this right now. So this is a post by Philip Weber from CD Projekt Red. He says this, in Cyberpunk 2077, only the richest people in, with the best security can afford a place like that. Only an idiot would try to infiltrate that. You could be that idiot. I believe in you. That is freaking hilarious. So yeah, he's basically teasing that you can infiltrate places like this in the game. I would imagine, of course, that there would be some really good loot inside, but we don't know if this is going to be part of the open world journey or if it's gonna be like a side quest or, poor, or, or part, excuse me, of the main quest. Now we do have a follow-up question from Panther US Maximus who says this, is that a visible place in the game or is that just CGI? And we have a confirmation about this. So Philip Weber does say it's from our CGI trailer, but the place also exists in game. So yes, this is actually a place we'll be able to visit and infiltrate. And it seems like it's going to actually be a challenge given the fact that it is going to have a security system i would imagine a lot of these places do more details about that in just a moment but yeah check this out this arasaka home security which arasaka is going to be one of those major corporations that you're going to be have to uh you know deal with in cyberpunk 2077 but this looks like some really badass samurai security system uh that we will be facing off against for sure. I cannot wait to see uh, how challenging that will be because I imagine you're not going to be able to infiltrate these areas willy-nilly. You're going to have to actually upgrade your character to really take on some of these really highly sought after areas. Uh, now we do have official heist information. Uh, so one of the main quest lines is literally called the heist. So let's dive straight into it. It says, the heist is a main quest in the upcoming Cyberpunk 2077 and the final quest of the game's prologue. The quest sees Jackie and V infiltrating an Arasaka facility to steal an experimental biochip. Uh, now further says this, Jackie and V are tasked by Fixter Dexter Deshaun, who is this dude right here. He looks pretty badass and he looks like someone you don't want to mess with. Uh, it goes on to say you're going to be breaking into the Konpeki Plaza, an Arasaka residential facility, to steal an experimental biochip reportedly containing the secret to immortality. Using information gained from Evelyn Parker's brain dance session, the duo discover that the chip is in the hands of Yorinbu uh, Arasaka in his penthouse apartment. Excuse me if I screw up on some of these names. It says the pair acquires suitable disguises and manages to infiltrate the facility. So you can see it's kind of like a multi-part thing to really get involved with this heist. But yeah, you will be infiltrating the Arasaka waterfront and this is what the actual facility looks like according to some of the artworks. And then this is the Arasaka waterfront and it's a pretty big deal. You don't wanna go in here unprepared for sure. It goes on to say this, the waterfront is the bulwark island of the corporate authority in the lawless lands of Watson. Unless you are an Arasaka employee, you are completely not welcomed. The Arasaka waterfront is an important link in the corporation's local supply chain. Official data states that hundreds of shipments come through the waterfront every month, packed and sorted by automated robots to be sent to other corporate owned warehouses and outposts. That being said, most people are unable to see much of anything inside. It seems like a lot of uh, this facility's uh, you know, storage 
is top secret. Uh, which leads me uh, to the security systems. All right, check this out. Since so the Japanese Zabatsu built a wall all around the waterfront to keep Watson inhabitants at bay, gangers, scavengers, and Middleson reporters. It's reinforced with motion detectors, electrified razor wire, and automatic armored gun turrets. The wall protects Arasaka property from unwanted guests and trespassers. So, yeah. Again, I think you're going to have to upgrade your character. You're going to have to have some sort of ability to hack into some of these systems. Or maybe if you're powerful enough, you can just go guns a-blazing through this. But I don't think that would be a wise decision going guns a-blazing. Again, you're going to have some of these major security systems, uh, as you can see here, to deal with. I'm curious to see how the melee combat, by the way, would work against like holographic type samurai. So it's going to be interesting to see. Uh, now, let's continue on with this main heist in the quest. It says, during the escape, Jackie Wills is reportedly killed and dies in a cab on the way to the rendezvous. A defeated V meets with Dexter and Sean in the no-tell motel, where they are subsequently betrayed for attracting too much attention during the job. A fight ensues, where V appears to gain the upper hand before being shot by Dex and left for dead in the city landfill. V is awoken by the digital ghost of famed rocker boy Johnny Silverhand, who whose consciousness appears to have been stored on an experimental biochip. And he becomes your best friend in the game, as we know. So it's cool to see Keanu Reeves' character in this uh, heist in some way or another. Now, what about that no-tell uh, hotel or motel? Uh, so this is really cool. We've seen some shots of it before in some of the trailers and artworks, and it seems like it's going to be a place that you're going to be visiting a little bit in this game, or maybe even quite frequently, and it's cool because it goes on to say this about this place. The No-Tell Motel is a location that appears in Cyberpunk 2077. It is run by AI and is known for hosting shady deals done by people who prefer not to be seen. So yeah, that's really cool that it's actually hosted by AI. I cannot wait uh, to see exactly uh, who's in there and what type of deals we can actually get. Now, uh, let me know what you think about uh, the potential of seeing heist in Cyberpunk 2077. It seems like they're definitely a thing, especially in the main quest line. And I imagine that there would be something like heist perhaps in uh, some of the side quests. But I'm also curious to see if we as players can do heist whenever we want. I really do hope that is something that we can do. Maybe visit the afterlife and have some dude that actually specifically deals in heist. That's something that I would absolutely love. Now let's go over your top comments. Remember to leave a comment down below because you never know, it could end up in future videos. So let's do this. First top comment comes from The Lone Wolf. He says, there's going to be a photo mode in this game, so I don't see why people are hating on it for being in the first person. The game was designed to be in first person, so I don't think a third person mode would be all that great. So he brings up the point that yeah, you do get customization in the game, and although it's first person view, you can't see your character most of the time, you can still do this badass photo mode where you can show off what your character looks like and share it most likely out on social media and stuff like that. So I think that is a really good balance there and a really good perspective from him for sure. Now we do have a follow up here from Mixatron Savage who says, I prefer first person than third person. I love to feel like I'm the character and that's exactly how I personally felt with Skyrim and also Fallout. So really I have had no problem with first person in this game. Would it be cool to see someone make a third person mod on PC? Hell yes. And I really do hope someone actually does that. And speaking of mods, check this out from Emperor Thurnus who says this, I'll be trying to make a nighttime all the time mod and another version of that to make it various degrees of raining all the time as well. Dude, I cannot wait to see what you create and what other modders create. I will definitely be checking out all the mods on PC. So please be sure to stay tuned. I'll give my recommendations and show off like the latest mods for this game. And you know, hopefully we do get that third person mod in the very near future. But let me know what you guys make of heist in Cyberpunk 2077. Uh, do you think you have to have heist? And again, there's been some comparison to like GTA 5. Me personally, I don't compare this game at all to GTA 5. I don't see that being the case whatsoever. It is a CD Projekt Red experience. That's how I 
classify Cyberpunk 2077. But thank you all so much for the love and support on the latest videos. Remember, I am doing that epic giveaway. If you want a chance to win a copy of Cyberpunk 2077 for the console or platform of your choice, see the description below. And please check that description for more Cyberpunk 2077 videos. I've been covering the hell out of this game every single day, believe you me, and I'm going to continue to up and through release. So post launch, I'm going to have all the details you guys want to know, especially about like updates and what's happening with the future of the game, DLC, things like that. So be sure to drop by often. I have you covered. But thank you for watching and I will see you all next time. Take care.